Greetings Farm Machinery fans and welcome to our YouTube channel. We've been on the road a lot recently, collecting fresh footage for our new farming documentary Harvest Time in Germany, which will be released on DVD and on demand in autumn. The film also features one or two new machines of course. We caught a glimpse of the John Deere X9 at the last Agritechnica in Hanover. We've now captured the new machine on camera here in Saxony and bring you our first impressions in this test drive video. Enjoy the show. Around 1,500 combines are sold across all manufacturers in Germany each year. Among them are some of the most powerful combines in the world. The X9 from John Deere has immediately joined their ranks. It's always really exciting to be able to see these new releases up close as soon as we can. We filmed the S600 combine, which was introduced in 2011, during its very first season in the Czech Republic. We even got to capture its successor on camera, the 625 horsepower single rotor S700, just a few months after it was introduced in Canada. With its 700 horsepower and twin rotor, the X9 now ranks one performance class above the S700 model and closes the gap on its competitors. So far, there are only a handful of machines worldwide. The feeder house, which conveys the harvested crop to the threshing unit, acts as a gatehouse to the combine. John Deere have adjusted it to 1.72 meters by swapping the drive. The two twin rotors, which are a remake of the technology used in the S700, are the highlight of this combine. The grain tank volume on the X9 has been notched up to 16,200 liters. And a few details in the cab have been reworked compared to the S700. You surely couldn't ask for more from the Signature Edition cab with its ultra-comfortable massage seat. We're also familiar with the Command Pro joystick from the S700. Various buttons, including on the back of the joystick, can be programmed to enable full control of this harvesting giant during threshing and unloading. It weighs up to 50 tons when fully loaded. Even the view down to the 12.2 meter wide header on our demo machine is magnificent. To operate the X9 at full capacity, even in low yield areas, John Deere also offers a 50 foot or 15.2 meter wide header. What's more, to be able to negotiate hilly terrain, the header is divided into three independently movable sections. Our Draper header has a 3 meter wide middle section and two 4.5 meter wide outer sections. Height control on the new headers is now carried out using feeler wheels. In Europe, the X9 will predominantly be driven on tracks. The track systems are similar to the S and T series. Our demo vehicle had the smallest width track systems at 61 centimeters each but still remained below the transport width limit of 3.5 meters. According to John Deere, it will also be possible to travel at 40 kilometers per hour on the road. The X9 really impressed us on this test drive. We can't wait to show you footage of the machine at work in other countries soon. We'll also tell you some more about this combine in our new in-depth farming documentary, Harvest Time in Germany coming out in autumn 2020. For this documentary, we also visited a number of different farms and agricultural contractors to film some other exciting machines during blueberry, onion and potato harvesting, to name a few. Take a look at www.farmworld.tv